so don't mind. Just put like some skincare on and I already look oily. Um, this morning has been crazy. And I had a feeling that might happen because last night I stayed up to one o'clock in the morning editing the vlog. Like I came home from our trip right away. I, well, I put some of my stuff like away and then I started editing the vlog and I knew it was gonna take a while. It took me even longer than I thought it was going to, to edit the vlog. And then it was gonna take three hours to process. So I set my alarm for 3 a.m., went to bed, got up, posted the vlog at 3 a.m., um, but then it still had to like, excuse me, like I'm burping. <laughs> um, so even though I, I was putting it onto YouTube at 3 a.m., it was gonna take 30 minutes to upload. So I just made sure everything was set for 5 a.m., went back to bed. I set my alarm for 8.30 just to make sure it was up. And I looked and some of you were saying that you couldn't see the vlog. Because of the music in the very beginning of the video, some people couldn't stream it on mobile devices. So then I had to try and like, anyways. Long story short, it's now all done and everyone can watch and it's 11.30. So if you haven't seen the Vegas vlog, I'll link it down below. Just know that the first 30 seconds of the video is completely muted, which is kind of annoying. Um, but the rest of the vlog is completely fine and you get to see Magic Mike and you get to see Ricky Martin and, and the pool party and all the fun. So yeah, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. Mama B was amazing. My ankle is killing me and I have a concert to go to tonight. I'm going to see Brad Paisley. I'm really excited. I'm going with my friend Eva. I'm actually going to see other friends at the concert too, so I'll get to meet up with them as well. Um, but she went to Costco this morning without me and she ended up picking up some things that she knew I needed, which I'm so thankful because I really, with my ankle needs to be resting the entire day. I'm doing laundry, doing some stuff on the computer, but really I'm going to be elevating it the entire day before we go to the concert. But I wanted to show you what um, she got for me at Costco and it's going to be very helpful for my work week ahead. I don't know if I got, if I told you guys, but I feel like I have so much to tell you. Tomorrow, Monday, I'm going to be starting a new job. It's a full-time job, nine to five. So I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can throughout the week, but probably won't be as much footage, but hopefully, and I am really excited about it. So thanks to all that prayed for me for a new job and to find a good new opportunity. Okay, let's go ahead and show you the groceries. So it's a small haul because I really didn't need a ton. So a ton of strawberries for acai bowls and for just snacks and smoothies. My favorite mangoes, the Fresca mangoes. These are amazing. And then so a big thing of avocado because I've been going through avocado like nobody's business. Two things of the Santa Fe chicken like salads. These are 270 calories. They're perfect for work. So you can just, you know, pick this up, throw it in the fridge at work and you're good to go. So I have those. Those are bananas that have gone bad, but I have new bananas right there. I'm gonna probably freeze those for smoothies. And then I have my favorite snack packs. If you've been here on my channel for a while, you know about these. The carrot, grape, and cheese with pretzels are 150 calories each, and they're just really great also to bring to work as snacks. So that's it there. And then also yesterday, I got a package from Ofra Cosmetics. They are launching July 2nd, three new blushes, a new highlight, and a new lip set. So here are, are all of them. Look how cute this package is though. They have like a little lei and a little umbrella. And then here is the lip set. Oh my gosh, that middle shade, are you kidding me? Those are so pretty, they're calling my name. What are the names of this? It just says island lip set, but those colors are so pretty. Coco Island Aruba is the new color, the one in the middle, and Rio. Yeah, this color right here has like an iridescence to it. Come on, camera, you can focus. There we go, look at that. <gasps> so pretty, Oprah, I'm so excited. Okay, here's one of the blushes. I'll be swatching these in like a, a video soon, but I wanted to quickly show you guys here. Look at that pretty blush. This one is in Blushes. Punch. Look at the pretty pattern in them. This one's called Punch, Mai Tai, and Bellini. I'm definitely gonna love Bellini the most, I know it. And here they are swatched on my hand. Bellini's to the left, then Mai Tai, then Punch. And they're like a very soft matte finish. And then that highlight though, 
That is without flash. Look how beautiful it is. It's like a peachy golden. And here it is right here. It's called Bali. You guys, <laughs> I love Ofra highlights always. This is so, so pretty. Okay, and then we have the Trio Lip. So this is the newest shade. It's called Aruba, and it's a warm rosy peach with metallic finish. And then we have Coco's Island and Rio, which both have already come out in other collections. Um, Rio definitely, um, excuse me, Rio is this one. It has more of like a peachy matte finish, and then this is Coco Island, which is more like a pinky coral. And then I do have them swatched here for you. That middle one though, the newest shade, the metallic finish is stunning. I think I wanna wear it tonight. So if you are curious, these are launching July the 2nd. Here are all the prices. I do have a 30% off coupon code. You just have to use Honeybee at checkout. So there you go. I'm doing my makeup right now. I'm going to a concert, Brad Paisley tonight. I'm using some new YSL products that I got from Octilly for review purposes. Now this is a cream double-sided product for your eyes. So we have a matte purple on this side and then more of like a shimmery, taupey purple on the other side. And here they are swatched. So pretty. I'm going to show you guys it on my eyes. I'm going to be an, an outdoor concert tonight, so I wanted something like that's going to really last very well for me. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, obviously my makeup is not done whatsoever. I'm baking on the side of my face right now. But I wanted to show you, I put the darker, like, matte purple in on my um, lash line there. And then I put the shimmery color all over my lid. I am going to use a few, like, matte, cool tone powder shades in my crease so I will show you what it looks like after but I wanted to show you what it looks like without anything on top first all right guys I'm kind of rushing so I haven't finished my brows yet or put my lip on but I just wanted to show you my eye so I ended up using the Natasha Denona shadows in the palette number two so I used this shade in the middle and this shade here to finish off the look and just a little bit of liquid liner I really really like it it's like Smoky, but not overdone. And those shadows from YSL, well, the Natasha Denona shadows are absolutely beautiful as well. But the YSL duo is so creamy. It blended like a dream. And honestly, I didn't have to put any other shadow on. If I was wanting to do just a very quick smoky eye, I could just use that. But since I'm going to a concert tonight, I wanted it to be a little more. But it's outdoors, so I'm not going to put lashes on. I just have this um, waterproof mascara on from Tarte. It's called Lifted. All right, I need to get moving.
selfies. <laughs> and a cure, blast, and bow tie. It's spray on tans, the creamy lotion he hates. The cake grip of tackle Hey guys, today is my first day of work at my new job, and I just did a pretty minimal but still very glowy makeup look today. That's why it's even glowier. Maybe I should put a little more highlight on the side. Um, I did like a very natural eye look. I wanted to show you my lip because I talked, I spoke about the other YSL product earlier in this video, and this is another product they sent me from Octoly that I've used these before. They're their glossy lip stains, and they're really, really nice. They do stain the lips. They give like a little bit of a glossiness. Um, they When they dry down, they get a little tacky, which is probably my only negative regarding these, but I do really love them. This is like the third shade I've owned. This is in the shade number 50, and if I remember correctly, it's called like something nude. So I'll try and link it down below for you guys. But I do really like it, especially when I'm going back to work because I need products that are going to kind of last on my lips because, you know, you're talking quite a bit, answering phones, talking to patients and things like that because I will be in a dental office working again. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention that I'll be bringing this with me. And I need to go and get changed and my hair. I'm probably going to put my hair in a bun today. I don't know what that was. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Brian's 24th birthday. Yay. We're having sangria. Sorry, I didn't cheers. First person cheers. <laughs> We're at the keg. And I almost dropped my drink. Say hi, Mama B, because you haven't been in the vlog all week. <laughs> but I wanted to show you my eye look because I've been wearing the Sunset Palette from Natasha Denona um, every day since it came in the mail and I really, really love it so much. So yeah, I just used two different shadows, no, three different shadows today. And you can see it pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you. And I have these little earrings on. I got these on eBay for a really inexpensive, I think two years ago now. My lip, I have like a lip stain on from Stila. Can't even think of the name. I don't even think they sell it anymore though, so just forget what's on my lips because it's probably gonna be too difficult to find. And I am wearing my H&M shirt that you guys have seen for years now. It's going strong still, but it's one of my more comfortable work outfits. And yeah, that's it. Just wanted to quickly check in with you guys. But I've been trying on swimsuits and this adorable romper from swim Swimsuits for All. I'm going to be doing a try-on video for them. They sent me these products, but it's not sponsored whatsoever. And this romper is so soft and cute. So I just showed it on Snapchat. Excuse me not having a bra on. But it's so stinking cute. I love it. And it ties in the back, but it's really hard for me to show you. And yeah, I love little cactus. 
I love it. This is like one of the first rompers that fits like and covers my butt and fits at a good length. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really <laughs> excited about it. It's so soft. Like I'm like, oh, it's really soft. So far, I've been trying on the bathing suits and I think I overestimated the bottoms when it comes to sizing. Like I did really well for my top, but the bottoms, most of them are all too big. But they're really good about like doing returns, like exchanging for your size. But since I'm working with them, I don't know how to go about that. So I have to try to figure that out because most of them, surprisingly, are too big for my from a butt. So that's it. I just wanted to show you this really cute romper. I almost said womper, romper. Mm-hmm. Looking crazy. This is the 100% pure mask. I hate how small these eye holes are. They're driving me nuts. But other than that, I look crazy, I know. But I love the feel of it. I just don't like that, how small the holes are. But it already feels super hydrating and I love the smell of it. This is creeping you out, isn't it? It's creepy. I'm creeping myself out. I'm gonna go lay down. I have to have this on for 15 to 20 minutes. It really does feel amazing though. All right guys, I kind of have darkness under my eyes because I haven't been getting sleep this week, but here's how my face looks after the mask. I definitely think it looks a little brighter. Um, my skin looks good, it feels nice, feels hydrated. Would I say that it's like magical and that you need to run out and get them? Probably not, but I do enjoy that they're cruelty free, 100% natural. 100% pure says then it says it all in their name. Um, so yeah, I tried it, I liked it, but I don't know if I would say that you need to run out and get it. And that's that's my thoughts on that. But thank you to them for sending me that because they did send me that through Octoly. Go. <laughs> <laughs> you already know what it is. Oh, I do already know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I totally forgot to ask you this. It's a watch. Yeah, I hope you like it though. It's awesome. It has a screen protecting thing on it. It looks like bubbled or something, but it's not. Oh, no, it's not fair. It's just. Oh, let me show everyone how beautiful it is. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Stupid. Look at that. Okay, there it goes. You got it? Yeah, this is the ebony wood one. Ooh. Ooh, ah, it's ah, wood. E. Thanks, Missy. Welcome. Happy birthday, dear Brian. Happy birthday to you. All right, guys, we're going to try something new today, and we're going to do an unboxing inside my vlog, and then I'm going to end the vlog. It's Friday night right now, so I'm going to end the vlog for Friday night. I'm so hot. First off, I ordered some stuff from Sephora because they had, my room's gonna be a mess, my living room, because they had 15 off of your purchase of 50, I think it was. Um, and I lost my eye cream, but then I found it. Janelle, if you're watching this right now, I thought I brought my eye cream to Vegas, like the, and this one I'm talking about, the Eye Duty Triple Remedy from First Aid Beauty. Turns out I didn't bring it with me and it was in my drawer all along. So I repurchased this for no reason because I still probably have half of mine left. But it's okay because this is something I will consistently repurchase because it has like a slight tint to it. It's really hydrating, it de-puffs, it smooths, it's wonderful. And I get the, the fair medium. This is kind of pricey though. So it was worth it to use a coupon. I got this 100 point perk, the Makeup Forever Aqua Color Paints XL. Um, look how small this is though, you guys. Like, are you kidding me right now? Sephora, up your game. <sighs> up your game with your point system in general. But this is in the shade M56. I am gonna do swatches, and I did have a wipe, but I don't know where I put it, a makeup wipe. This is just like a straight up matte brown, I believe. Yeah, it's the M, so it's matte. It's nice, you're supposed to be able to use these as like cream shadows. I really do need a wipe. I guess I'm wiping it on my pants. Um, but you can use this as a cream shadow or a liner. That's a really nice base. So I got that. I also got this 
Kat Von D Trooper Liner. These little sample ones last a really long time, so I actually got this as like an extra code gift. Other things I purchased, one was a brush, also because of Janelle, who I went on to Vegas with. She had this brush to apply her Jeffree Star highlight, which I also still need to purchase. I really need that in my life, the peach one. But she was using this to apply her highlight and it was coming out amazing. So amazing that I was like, why isn't my fan brush doing magic like that? I was really disappointed. So she's like, it's the brush. So that's, that's why I purchased it. It's the Pro Contour number 79, but I'm not gonna use it for contour. I'm going to use it for highlight. So this is what it looks like. It looks like really nice pointed. Oh yeah, that's gonna be pretty. It's so soft. I love Sephora Pro brushes. So I know I will get a ton of use out of that. And then I feel like this haul is all because of Janelle. She said the Kat Von D lip liners are amazing. So since I was getting that discount, I decided to get OG Lolita lip liner. And I have no doubt that I'm going to love this because I do like that it is retractable. This is how the packaging looks. And yeah, it looks like a view. Oh, that's pretty. It's a pretty like, literally looks like Lolita the lipstick. So pretty, very, very creamy. So I can't wait to try that out because I didn't have enough lip liners. Then I got a package from Too Faced. I shared a lot of these on Insta Story, I believe. So, if you follow me on there, this might be boring for you. I'm very sorry. Okay, so this says Ready, Set, Flawless. And it's showcasing their new Complexion Perfection products, except the Hangover Primer is not new. I'm very excited, though, that they sent to me a Hangover Primer again. First of all, look at this packaging. Killer. Too Faced, you really knock it out of the park with, with packaging. This is one of my all-time favorite Holy Girl primers. Smells like coconuts, it's very hydrating, but it doesn't make me greasy and hydrated. And it does make my makeup last. It's silicone free as well. So yeah, very, very happy about that. Only sad thing is I heard that Too Faced is not gonna be cruelty free anymore. It's a big bummer. Okay, next thing is one of their brand new products. This is the Prime Set Refresh Hangover RX 3-in-1. The replenishing primer and setting spray. It's silicone free, alcohol free, and oil free. We're gonna put this on right now because I need a little re refreshing for sure. Oh, such cute packaging. Okay, let's try it out. I'm gonna shake it up just in case. Oh, I just got that straight in my eye. Oh my gosh. It smells so good, you guys like sweet coconut and it feels really, really refreshing. I got a little glow, it makes my highlight pop more. Oh yes, definitely gonna love this. Thank you so much Too Faced. And then the last thing they sent me was the Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. I love the Born This Way foundation, so I have no doubt that I will really love this powder. I've been really loving using loose powder lately too, especially to set my under eye. So we'll see how this one works out, but beautiful packaging once again. Okay, move on, Melissa, because you're already at six minutes in and you've only opened two boxes. Okay, next we have Pacifica. I'm trying to do this fast, maybe I shouldn't swatch things. <laughs> okay, underarm deodorant wipes. Holy grail status for me. I have repurchased these many a time, so I'm very excited that they sent me those because I will definitely use them. Same with these, I actually do enjoy them, the coconut water cleansing wipes. I use these more for like refreshing when I don't have makeup on. I don't use those for makeup removal whatsoever because they won't work that way. The coconut water micellar cleansing tonic. I thought that I had this, but I think I have the, I think it's called the cactus water. I don't know, I have a different water that I'm using from them, like a micellar water from them. But coconut water sounds amazing. Let's give this a little whiff. It doesn't really smell like coconut, but it smells good though. So I'm gonna be trying that out soon. By the way, Pacifica is cruelty-free vegan brand. So this is the Hot Vegan. It seems like very liquidy, very liquidy. The Hot Vegan Probiotic and Spice Rehab Mask. It helps de-stress and clarify with black pepper and coconut willow. 
coconut and willow. So I'll be trying that out. Then they also have their coconut probiotic water rehab cream. Ooh, I'm gonna like this. I have a feeling I'm gonna really, really like that, especially for daytime. I think that's it. Oh, one more thing. This is their skin and lip care mineral color. My back is hurting. That's what happens when you have big boobs. Your back like kills you. <laughs> TMI. Sun and lip care mineral color lip balm it has SPF 30 and it, ooh, it's peach. Mm, I wanna try it on right now, but I have lip product on. This is what I'm gonna do. This is what happens when you are wanting to try something. What is this? Oh, this is talking about their new product, the coconut probiotic cream. But thank you, Pacifica, because I'm gonna use it to blot my lips right now. Look, it's like a peachy color, pretty. I'm literally gonna use the camera to apply this. It smells good too. Oh, it's pretty. What do you guys think? That's pretty. This is going straight in my purse for the summer. Thank you so much, Pacifica. And then it came with this super cute tote with the unicorn on it. Love it. All right, next we have Pixie Beauty. And they're always way too generous. Like, Pixie, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. So they sent their near sheer beauty products. Here's what it looks like. So it looks like they have three of their sheer cheek gels. Flushed, rosy, and natural, and then also their gel tint and silk gloss duos. So here's what that looks like. So I probably won't open all of these because I'll probably give you guys one or two for a giveaway. Let's just open one of these. This is in berry tint and sweet gloss. These look looks like a color I would love. I believe Pixie is cruelty free. By the way, you guys, I have been really sucking at being a vegetarian like or trying to become a vegetarian. I know all you have seen this entire vlog is me eating meat. And in Vegas too, I eat meat. So trying is the key word. I'm, I really am try, trying to be more plant-based in my life. Okay, so here are the two shades. This one I'm guessing, oh, I almost dropped it, is the berry. A berry tint and sweet gloss. Should I try it on again? I kind of want to. We're gonna blot this off. <laughs> you guys are probably thinking I'm nuts right now. Okay, look. Oh, that's an interesting applicator. It's like a very thin applicator. Oh, it's really liquidy. It smells minty. Oh, I like that. I really need a mirror for this, but it feels amazing, you guys. It's not greasy whatsoever. It really feels jelly-like almost. Tastes minty too. That's pretty. That's very pretty. Okay, so that's the berry tint. And let's put some of this gloss on top. This is the sweet gloss. Also that same kind of weird applicator though. Mm, pretty. You guys, that is so pretty. Has some good pigment to it too, considering that it's a very thin gloss formulation. Sheer cheek gels, natural, rosy, and flushed. Hmm, which one should I try? Let's try the natural. By the way, the tints are long lasting with jojoba infused lip gloss. Hydrating and nourishing, mm hmm I would say so, these are beautiful. I actually really like it in the tube packaging. Hmm, it's very natural. Not sure how I feel about that, guys. I'm not usually a liquid blush fan, though, so I'm the wrong critic for this, for this kind of product, but that literally is barely showing up and I'm super, super pale. So maybe the natural wasn't a good option to swatch, but anyways, I really do like the lip tint and gloss duos though. I'm pretty sure I may have shown this, but I'm gonna quickly show you guys because it deserves a second mention. Glam Glow sent me a package. And I was pumped because I love Glam Glow products so much. They sent me two full-size masks. 
And I don't think I've tried the Flash Mud, so I'm really curious about this. It's a brightening treatment, bright and radiance, luminous, even tone corrects. So I'll be using this very, very soon and getting back to you. You already know that I love this mask. The Youth Mud Tingling Treatment, amazing. So thank you, Glambo. Hashtag hello sexy, that's for all of you. <laughs> you guys, I'm on the struggle bus right now because I can't remember what I've shown on Snapchat, Insta stories, or my vlog. So I'm just gonna show this real quick. It's from Jane Ardell, and this is the makeup kit in light. And I just have started using powder foundations again. I actually only have powder foundation and concealer on today, and I'm really enjoying it. The formulation of their products is really nice. So far, I am enjoying it a lot. Um, there's a blush in here, two eyeshadows, a lip and like cheek tint, and two of their powder foundations. Hope you can see that. So thank you to Influencer and Jen Ardell for sending me this, and I am continuously using it and really enjoying it. Their foundation does also have SPF 20, which is great for our Arizona heat. I also got something sent to me from Roll Norman, and I'm pretty sure I showed you guys. I put it on my Instagram. I'll insert a picture here. But I have been really enjoying this as well. Look how cute this is. The Road Trip Pal. This is part of their summer line. And it's just, I wish I had taken this with me to Vegas, but I didn't. Um, but it's a really great travel palette because you have your bronzer, your blush, highlight, shadows, like a really nice neutral look. Quality. Merle Norman is seriously quality and they've been stepping up their game with the cute, cute packaging and different like seasonal, um, what's it called, collections. Love them so much. Natasha Denona. <sighs> My heart is so happy right now, you guys. I got my hands on the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette, and I think I told you this already, but I've been using it literally every single day, except for today. I don't think I used it today. I was in a mega rush today, so that's why. But, obsessed, look at this baby. And I know, it's a really high price point. I ended up doing the three easy, three easy payments. I sound like QVC, but Beautylish has like a three payment deal on their website. So that's what I did to make myself feel a little bit better about paying such a high price point for a palette of eyeshadows, but you won't regret it if you love warm eyeshadows. Most magical shadows that I've used in a very long time. Impressed, really impressed. I now know what quality is after using those eyeshadows. That sounds dramatic. But believe me, it should be dramatic. All right, I can't believe this came in the mail. Lerac, wait, I'll show you one little sneak peek and you'll know instantly what it is. <gasps> Beauty and the Beast. I need to do like a serious, like full review on these, so I'm not gonna even show them right now. My lipstick's melted <laughs> and it was really sad and I put them in the fridge and they still didn't really work out so much. <laughs> But they're still usable and they're still pretty packaging. Here are the glosses and they have like a rose pattern on them. So beautiful. And the palette. You guys, the palette, look at this. Wait, I have to show you the palette. I died when I saw the palette. All of you, when this first came out, were messaging me like, did you buy anything from the collection? I was trying to be super good, so I didn't. And then they sent me this, so I was so pumped. Look at this, tail as well as time. It looks like a little book. Look at this, like the spine, it even has like a little, you know, what's it called, bookmark it looks like. And so this is magnetic and it flips open. I have not used these shadows so I cannot speak to the quality yet. They're definitely a lot more cool tones than I usually go for, but I will be trying these out very soon. That blue is getting a little messy in there. Oh, and there's a mirror by the way, look at that. <laughs> and it's not a fun house mirror. Oh, that lip is pretty. Sorry, I'm not trying to check myself out right now, but that lip is pretty. All right, so there's the palette. Unexpectedly, just a little scared. All right, and here is the blush palette. Look at this. Do you see that detail on there? So pretty. Disney, I love you. I love you to La Rock too. And then inside here it says she was fearless on the inside of like the mirror. And then like the insert had a rose pattern. Can you see that? There's like rose pattern on it. So when you hold it up against the blushes, 
it looks like there's rose imprint in them, but they totally faked us out because there's not. <laughs> and here, you can see my vlogging camera. So here are the shades. Sorry that I'm not doing swatches right now, but maybe I'll, as I use this and do like makeup of the day and stuff, I'll show you what they look like. Second to last thing, e.l.f. e.l.f. again, a brand that is insanely generous to beauty YouTubers and uh, Instagrammers. Amazing. So they sent us like a little summer box of goodies. And it says, oh hey, it's like legitimately summer now. Like literally it says that. With these hot tents, what better way to stay cool and glowy than with some brand new lippies and highlighters? Also, yes, there's a lip primer. So your gloss goes on super slick. We're, Elf doesn't talk like this, by the way. I'm just being silly. We're so excited to hear your thoughts on these fun new products. Thanks, Elf. Okay, so here's the lip primer. I have not tried that before. The waterproof liquid liner, which I probably will give away because I suck at using liquid liners like these that have like that where you have to dip it in a pot, it never works out for me. <laughs> Just being honest. Lip lacquer and praline, yes. I will definitely be trying that. <gasps> Look at this color too, tea rose, that's beautiful. Beautifully bare, targeted natural glow stick with vitamin E and champagne glow. We gotta swatch this. We gotta swatch you. And then there's also a blending sponge, which I have not tried from them before. There's like a little umbrella in here. I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, and there's this little clip. Oh, we're gonna do this up right now. We're gonna put that right in my hair. Do you see it? I don't know if you can see it. Ow, this was a, a disaster waiting to happen. Do you see it? It's so cute, it's like a little summer flower. Okay, let's open this highlighter and then I have one more box to share with you guys. If you like seeing these or if you want me to do maybe just a few every week, let me know when I can start doing this um, instead of doing like an unboxing video, because I don't know, I think this is more fun doing it this way. Okay, this is what the highlight stick looks like. It looks really golden. I don't know if it'll work with my skin, but we'll see. Oh yeah, that's like mega golden, but it's very pretty. Let's see how it blends out. It's a tad. Oh, that's very pretty, but it's a little, it feels a little greasy for me because I'm, I'm, I can be oily, especially in the summer, but that glow though. <laughs> Uh, okay, and e.l.f. again, cruelty free. Good job, e.l.f. All right, it's huge, okay? Just believe me. It's from Wet Brush. If you, again, if you follow me on Insta Stories and you saw me unbox this, I'm literally gonna break this box. I'm a Wet Brush. I just dropped a bunch of stuff. I'm a Wet Brush ambassador now. So cool. And they sent me a bunch of their brushes, so I obviously will be giving them away over time as well. Came with this cute little bag too that says, what does it say? You like an avocado, you can't unlove it. I like their brushes. And has little pens in here too. And I love, oh, I love those colors. They know the way to my heart. I cannot wait to try this. I still haven't taken these out of the box. Shower Flex Detangler, and look, it has like a hook, so you can hook it on your shower head. Or like where the like where your knob is. Genius! There was a, a cute little stress ball like avocado in there. A water bottle which is BPA free. Yeah, BPA BPS free. I needed this, so thank you. And then a bunch, and they sent some like little cute hair ties and stuff in the box too. But then a bunch of their right their original detangle wet brushes. That look like this. Like look, there's a bunch of them and pink and purple and I think there's another color in here maybe not pink purple and black and I probably have 10 to 15 of them in here and they all have these little tags on them so when I hand them out to people and introduce them to wet brush I think that's such a cute idea you can have a little wet brush party so thank you so much so this is literally meant for me but I don't know if they created it for me but it's me all honey, no sting, makes brushing a breeze, and it has honeybees circling the wet brushes. If this wasn't created for me, it's meant to be for us to work together, wet brush, because, hello, honeybee philosophy. Okay, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this at the end of the vlog. I love you so, so much. Thank you for sticking with me through the work week. It was oh. a crazy week and I'm so happy to have the weekends. And I know I have enough footage because of this unboxing to post this. 
um, for Sunday, so I'm gonna go ahead and start editing now, but I love you so much, and I will see you again next week. Also, I am gonna be filming my empties this weekend and another video so that I can prepare for next week. I was totally unprepared for starting my a job so soon that I didn't have pre-filmed videos, and I'm sorry for that, so I was lacking. <laughs> but I love you again so much, and I'll see you very, very soon.